Annie Dugan from Firefly Theatre and Circus and I'm here to show you how to make your own circus in your backyard. This video is all about hula hoops. We'll go over how to decorate a circus hoop, how to do some circus tricks, and then the bonus section. Okay, so first you start with your hula hoop. This is fine, you can do tricks with a hoop like this, but we can make it look better with just a little bit of electrical tape. So you start, look for the place where the hoop gets joined together. And we're gonna start by covering that up with some electrical tape. Once that's covered up, just continue taping, but leave about a half inch of space in between every round of tape. Pull the tape tight so it doesn't wrinkle. It's less comfortable to hula hoop with wrinkled tape. So it starts to look just like this. Once you get the tape all the way around, just flip the hoop around. You can leave it like this or you can take a second color or as many colors as you would like and do another round of stripes. I like doing two colors on top of the hula hoop color that it starts out as. When you're all finished, it will look something like this. Oh, if you want to add weight to your hula hoop, if you want to hula hoop around your waist, it's sometimes nice to have a heavier hoop. So you can just use electrical tape solidly around and around and around. This hoop has about four layers of solid electrical tape on it, and then it's nice and heavy. So we are gonna start the trick section with an easy trick. Arm circles. You're gonna hold your hula hoop, you're gonna put your arm through, Keep your arm nice and straight from your shoulder to your hand. You're gonna grab the hoop with the opposite hand, lift it up, push it down and let go. I'm moving my hoop a little bit, but not much. You can see I'm not doing anything like that. It's very minimal and it just keeps the hoop going. If I wanna change arms, I take my opposite hand, put it on my shoulder and just slide it nice and slow. I keep looking at what I'm doing and I slide my hand through. Again, hand on your shoulder, slide it down and through. You can bring both arms in or bring one arm in and leave your other arm there. And then try to catch it for a stop. A variation of that is with two hoops. So I'm holding the two hoops and I'm going to flip them so they're pointing backwards and my elbows are pointing front. What I'm going to do is throw my arms and my hands forward and open my hands. Throw forward, open my hands. My thumbs are up, my hands are stiff, creating a space for the hoop to go around and around in between my thumb and my fingers. Once again, I'm going to close my hands really quickly for a finish. And you can bring them in front of you, throw them over your head, and style. Okay. One more trick. Okay, now you're gonna take your hoop and you're gonna start with it on the right side of your body or on the left side of your body. I'll show you both sides. So on the right first, I'm going to take my right foot place it in the hoop. I'm going to turn the hoop to the right and pull it all the way out as far as I can. Then I'm going to do three things. I'm going to bring my knuckles to my belly button. I'm going to lift my left leg and I'm going to pull the hoop up. Once again, step in, turn the hoop to the side, bring my knuckles to my belly button, lift my left leg, pull the hoop up. Looks like this when you do it fast. On the left side, left leg through, 
turn the hoop, knuckles to my belly button, lift my left leg, pull it up. If you want to get fancy and you have time to practice, you do the same thing. You just let go of the hoop when it passes your belly button. So I'm going to put my left hand up in the air to catch it. Ready? Like so. This is the optional section. To do this hoop trick, you need a dog or two. This is Figgy Duff. He's 17 months old. This is Barry. She's five and a half years old. They're both Australian Shepherds and they're going to jump through the hoop. Now to teach your dog how to jump through a hoop, you start by placing the hoop on the ground and the good idea is to have a treat in your hand. I'm going to call Figgy and I'm going to lure him through the hoop. Figgy! Just like so. See? That's step one. Step two, you lift it a little higher. Good. You might even want to give them a cue like hop, hop. Good. And then eventually, you come sit back in your hula hoop. Sit. Hula hoops also make good dog circles too. Eventually, you won't even need the hoop. Barry, Figgy sit. Barry, come here, come here. Ready, Barry? Through. Good girl. Through. I just made the hoop with my arms. Good girl. Come here, Bear. Come here, Figgy. And bow. And there you have it. Have fun making your circus. Okay, so I've got 